Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a really, I mean, fairly large bathing garden haul. I purchased quite a bit from her winter collection and then some from her Halloween collection as well, just to have in clamshells for next year. Uh, fair warning, there's just a lot going on in my house <laughs> today. Um, we have contractors here. We have our neighbors getting a tree cut down. My pup is here and stuff. So I think that the noise is fairly minimal, but you might hear some loud noises here and there. So my apologies, but I was so excited to get this video up. I just, I don't want to wait. So I'm going to jump in. I do have my computer here with me to try to give you scent notes as well for all of the scents. So I will start with my favorite scent, definitely my favorite scent from the bathing garden. And honestly, it's probably one of my favorite scents of all time, like in anything. And that is faded opulence. So I bought the jumbo clam and faded opulence. And then I also bought the sugar scrub, which they smell exactly the same. And the notes on this are a warm, fizzy tart, clove, ginger, blood orange, and cola. So if you don't like cola, you're not going to like this, but I adore cola scents. I found that I really, really like them. To me, this smells just like a cola with some really nice spices that blend really nicely together. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Mr. Pib. Um, in my opinion, Mr. Pib is like a more cherry, spicy version of Dr. Pepper, and that's kind of what I get from this. This is outstanding. I love this scent. I almost wish I would have bought like another jumbo clam of it because I do just, I love this so much. Um, it's still on her website, so, but I, I need to try to be good. But that is the first one. I'm going to try to go through all the clamps first, and then I will go through the rest of the body care, and then I will um, go through samples. So next is Sleepy, and this is our classic Sleepy scent dressed up for the season. Pink sugar, peppermint, and vanilla. This one did come cracked, but that's okay. It's so cute anyway. And this is nice. I definitely get the pink sugar and the peppermint. This will be a really nice, like, nighttime, um, blood time, bed, blood time, bedtime blend. This sweet honey pear. Anjou pear blends with harvest apples drizzled with honey butter and sweet musk and vanilla. I really love like honey pear cider and scents like that. So I was excited to try this one. And I definitely get like a honey pear cider type scent. To me, this almost smells a little bit like a sparkling pear Riesling from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, this one is really nice. This is a really good for me, like September scent, like transitioning into the fall time, but you're not really ready to dive into those like super heavy, like clove spicy scents. Russian ice bath. This is peppermint, menthol, spearmint, eucalyptus, lemon, and a touch of vanilla. And I don't really pick up all of those different scent notes. I kind of just get the peppermint, um, but we'll have to see once it's warming what that smells like. But to me, that's just like a nice peppermint blend. This next one is Ba Humbug, and I don't see this on the site at all. So I wonder if this one is sold out. So let's just do our best here in describing it. I almost get, it's like a smoky note. Mm. Yeah, that's all I really can say about this. It smells kind of like a smoky fireside type scent, which if that's what it is, it makes sense because I do just really enjoy things like that. Fairy Bonfire. This is a complex bonfire scent with no notes of leaves, vanilla, sandalwood, and brown sugar. Um, and I definitely get like a leaves and bonfire. Mm, this is really good. I, I love like smoky scents and leaves, so I enjoy that one. This one I don't see on the site either, but this is peppermint whipped cream. What is this? Stuff from the packaging, I bet. Um, peppermint whipped cream. I don't think I need the scent notes for that. It's probably like a peppermint with vanilla. 
And I just kind of get, yeah, like a creamy peppermint, kind of like a, I don't know, twisted peppermint maybe. Charred jack-o'-lantern. Um, I love this packaging. This is so nice. This is the spicy jack-o'-lantern has been dropped in a bonfire and charred black. I mean, look at this packaging. Oh my gosh, how cute. Yeah, and I get like a pumpkin note and I do get kind of like a spicy bonfire type scent. This is good. And this is just such a beautiful clam. I think I'll just enjoy that just because of the beauty of it. Victorian goth Christmas. This is wood smoke, blends with marshmallow, pumpkin, rich spices, vanilla, and sprinkles of sugar. I think you guys maybe really can hear that chainsaw now, so I apologize. Really pretty. Wow, and this one is interesting. You definitely get that like woody smoke note, like it's smoky, but it's more smoky. It's like different than like that charred jack-o'-lantern or just like other bonfire scents. This definitely has like a wood earthy scent to it and a really nice like pumpkin puree I get. That one is really, really good and really interesting. My snowman's pipe. This is fresh mint, blends with cool breezes and hints of sweet berries, rounded out with sweet pipe tobacco. I love pipe tobacco, and so I was really kind of interested in this. I wasn't sure how the mint, like, and tobacco would play together. And it's good. I get just mainly kind of like the tobacco. I get maybe some berries. Um, I don't get too much mint. Yeah, this is nice. Um, definitely heavy on the um, like tobacco scent. Rosemary Mint. This is rosemary essential oil blends with garden grown peppermint and spearmint leaves. And it smells just like that. It's stronger on the mint to me, like that peppermint. No, no, that's a lie. It, the spearmint is the strongest, but I do get a hint of that rosemary as well. I don't see this one on the site anymore, but this is Feast of Fall. And this is like pumpkin pecan waffles, maple, brown sugar. Yeah, just like a really nice like fall bakery blend. This might be one of my favorites. Crimson Rustic Pear. Crimson pear blends with notes of caramel, brown sugar, and crisp apple. Okay, this smells a lot to me like honey pear cider. This is so, so sweet. Look how cute that is. Yeah, to me this is a total like honey pear cider, like scentsy kind of dupe. I really like this one. Um, I'll probably wait, that's a great September scent for me. So next September I will melt that one for sure. Pumpkin peanut fudge. This is peanut brittle blends with peanut butter fudge, salted caramel cookies, and toasted pumpkin seeds. I wanted this to be like a dupe for Bath and Body Works pumpkin peanut brittle. And it does smell really similar. You get that like rich crackers, a nice peanut butter scent. That one's really nice. Crystallized spearmint and peppermint. This is a layer of sweet peppermint topped with sparkling spearmint. And I don't know about this one, you guys. This one is like toothpaste central. Yeah, this smells just like toothpaste. I'm not entirely sure about that one, um, but the wax is pretty. It's got like a pink layer and a green top. Um, yeah, but that one might be just like a little too spearminty for me. My last clamshell is Winter Palace. And now I picked this one up because I had heard for years people talking about this one. So this is French lavender, winter berries, vanilla, pomegranate, strawberries, icy peppermint, and hints of tea and pink sugar. So yeah, this smells really nice. Really beautiful nighttime blend. You get the lavender and like the tea. You get a sweetness from like the strawberries or pink sugar. I don't really get any sort of peppermint to this. Yeah, but it's just a really nice like lavender, sweet nighttime blend, really good. Okay, so now we're going to get into the couple of other body care items I got other than faded opulence. 
So I got the Russian ice bath sugar scrub and the Russian ice bath whipped soap. So I also got the wax in this too, like I showed, um, but I wanted to try this one in body care too. Um, again, this says smells of peppermint, menthol, spearmint, eucalyptus, lemon, and a touch of vanilla. But what I like about this, she has a side note that says the menthol will cause a cooling sensation on the skin. And that is something that I have loved about Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. When I put on the Twisted Peppermint um, Ultra Shea Body Cream from Bath and Body Works, it gives you like a really nice cooling sensation and I absolutely love that. So I'm really hopeful that those products will give me a similar experience because I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna put those in my shower immediately and start using them. Um, and so I'll report back. Those are small, so I'll get through them probably this month or next month at the latest. Um, yeah, and just see how they do. Cause I, I was really excited with that kind of like side note about the menthol that definitely sold it for me. But that is everything that I purchased, but now we have like a ton of samples and things to go through. First is white pumpkin. I've had this one before. This is creamed eggnog is blended with spiced orange pumpkin juice and sprinkled with nutmeg and cinnamon. I found that like this whole white pumpkin thing really is just a way for like, not just vendors, but companies, vendors, whatever, just to like really spice up a pumpkin. And yeah, it's just like a spicy, spicy pumpkin scent. I mean, it, it smells good. Let's move this back a little bit so you guys can see all the samples. Okay, some of these must be from like her newest collection that she's coming out with too because they're scent notes I don't have for everything. Like this is Harley Loves Joker. Pretty little heart. And this is like a sweet candied scent. A lot of sugar to it. Smells good. Old fashioned Valentine. Ooh, this smells really nice. This is really strong too. Fruity, creamy. Yeah, there's like a creaminess to this that I can't put my finger on. Man, I'm so bad at describing scents if I don't have the scent notes. Because if I know the scent notes for something, I'm like, oh yeah, that totally makes sense. Um, frosted apple and fur needle. A little like cute Christmas tree. Is this one on this site? It sure is. Crisp apple blends with fur needles, winter berry, applewood cedar, and crisp air notes. Hmm, I don't get much apple, but I do get like a cedar and fur needle scent. This is really nice. And I don't have too many tree scents, so having little things like that, I never complain about. This is Pucker, and I remember <laughs> when I opened this box, I did not like this one. And I wish I knew what the scent notes were to explain what this smells like. This smells spicy and fruity kind of at the same time. I, I don't know what this is. I'm really curious <laughs> what this is. If you guys know, let me know. But I do not like this one at all. Ugh. Oh, I have a little gingerbread man and he's broke, which is kind of depressing because it's a gingerbread man, but that's okay. This is gingerbread caramel and pear. And this is really, really nice. Um, it's very light on the gingerbread actually. And I get more of like that caramel um, and like pear, which I think the pear just kind of like sweetens it up, tones the, the spice down. Yeah, it's, it's good. I like this one. Grinch's heart. Yes, this is vanilla extract, buttermint candies, and sweet blue peppermint. What is blue peppermint? Hmm. Yeah, I definitely get like a buttermint candy net scent. Um, and then the blue peppermint, it almost is kind of like blue sugar in a way. Hmm. 
I don't know if I would purchase this, so I'm glad I just have a little sample of it, but it's good. Brown sugar cream rose bouquet, little heart. So I guess this is kind of a sneak peek for some Valentine's Day stuff coming. Mm, this is like a really light, like creamed rose. Like it's definitely a rose floral scent with some like creamy vanilla. Evernight. This is lavender and lilac are highlighted with a touch of eucalyptus and blended with soft woods, white musk, and sugary vanilla, inspired by Twilight by Lush. Ooh, it's definitely strong in the lavender and the lilac. Um, I don't think I really get anything like eucalyptus, woods, white musk. Yeah, this is like lilac. <laughs> so if you like floral, you would like that. Love and Madness, it's like a black heart. Hmm. It's like a floral note, but it has like a touch of sweetness as well. Hmm. This is good. Be a good like bathroom type scent. Pink Sugar Pie Crust. Okay, look at this wax. Are you kidding me? It's a little slice of pie. It's so stinking cute. And I really like this one. Okay, the pink sugar is definitely the strongest. I wish the pie crust was a little bit stronger, but you do get that like hint of pie crust as well. Mm, this is really good, really unique too. I like that. This is frozen hearts. This is like peppermint, like nose clearing, really strong. I bet this would throw like right now too and not have any cure time. Okay, next is Brain Freeze and this is one that I purchased. Um, this is a chili scent that blends frozen menthol, icy peppermint, and hints of vanilla and marshmallow. And it's in the shape of a brain as you can tell, which is pretty cute. Yeah, and I thought this was gonna be like with the menthol, I thought this was gonna be like more nose clearing and it's kind of light so i don't know we'll let that cure um, i'm sure i'll be into peppermint scents in january as well here zoom out a bit we're starting to get a lot going on okay we're almost done i have four more things cinderella would be jealous And this is weird. I don't really know how to explain this. It's almost kind of like a woody, musky scent, which is weird to call it Cinderella for me. So I'm curious to see what those scent notes are. Polar Bear Fairy. This is French vanilla and musk blends with clove, orange, and winter berries. Hmm, this is good. Um, I get the clove and I get like the winter berries most of all. And yeah, I like this one. Iced peppermint cordial. This sweet peppermint blends with cool starlight mints and marshmallow liqueur. And this is good. I definitely get like a marshmallow kind of alcohol boozy note and then that mint. This is good. Also, getting this haul right before Sassy Girl Aromas um, December 3rd pre-order was probably for the best because I was going back and forth on buying um, a loaf of at the North Pole or something like that, which is peppermint and vanilla. And now that I have this order in and I realize how many like minty since I have, I realize I do not need that. <laughs> so this was good. This just saved me like 25 bucks. Okay, then the last thing I have is a sample. This is a body um, sample. This is a sugar scrub in Yeti Nog. And this is buttery vanilla milk, nutmeg sprinkled with cinnamon sticks, caramelized brown sugar, and hints of sugar berries. Inspired by Yog Nog by Lush. I 
really get too much from this. It's really light, maybe like a milk note, some spices. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll have to see um, like in the shower how that does. Wow, but that is everything. That is my bathing garden haul hauls. This is actually two hauls that she shipped together, which was nice because it saved, saved me like nine bucks in shipping that she um, refunded. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed. You'll have to let me know what you picked up from her winter collection. Yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.